What is going on guys, it is Fatal Reaper Day bringing you another video, and if you're wondering, this is a voiceover recording, just like before in my last video, so I'm going to be trying to do videos more like this with voiceover recordings, um, that way you get better uh, quality sound as far as me speaking. Um, let's go ahead and get to this video real fast, before we continue guys, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get into this one. So in this video I'm showing you how to clean and take apart your HP Pavilion gaming laptop. As you just saw in my hand, I did have a guitar pick and a tiny little screwdriver. These are the two things you're going to need to take them off, or some kind of prying tool a guitar pick works really well because it's very thin and you're going to have to have a little screwdriver like this you can get these at walmart or pretty much anywhere um they're just tiny little screwdrivers um they're very easy to take off um there is six screws so you're gonna have three uh top screws they're gonna be longer those are the three top ones and then you're gonna have three bottom ones or excuse me you're gonna have four bottom ones uh, four top ones and three bottom ones. So after you take that off, um, there'll be two in the middle on the top and there'll be two on each end on the top. After you take those off, you're going to take the guitar pick or whatever prying tool that you are using um, and do make sure that you set your laptop's face on a softer surface like a shirt or a towel or anything like that. I did not do that this time. I usually normally do that, but I didn't do this in uh, that video to avoid scratches or anything like that. Um, I had a mishap one time and got a little bit of a scratch on it trying to push it around the desk. Oh. It, it will be a little hard to get it off first. You have to kind of pry um, the plastic part to pop off. When it pops off, it then should come off very easily. Don't pull very hard, just like lightly so. Pull each end at a bit at a time. Once you do that, it should pop off relatively easy. Once it pops off, guys, it's going to look like this. Be very uh, gentle with it and just sit it down easily. You're going to have everything open. you got your SSD over there. This is the back plate of it everything that keeps it protected and now let's get into the more cleaning details right here is an x-power air duster and it has two modes on it it is a very very powerful air duster to be honest with you it's one of the greatest gifts i've ever gotten it is a link down in the description below it's only about forty to fifty dollars one of the best purchases i recommend you can buy for laptop cleaning or computer cleaning and you're just going to turn it on and you're just going to test out every little crevice you can especially the two fans up here and just get everything out um, and clean this gets all the little dust particles out of the laptop and it just gets it overall clean now mine's pretty much doesn't really have much dust in it because I usually do this uh, quite often and I do recommend at least doing this once a month to clean out your laptop and make sure it's good or even a desktop for that matter it just keeps it cleaner and the overall um, function better and you can take a little rag like this and I do kind of wipe things off or smudges or anything like that and just kind of wipe everything off and make sure there's no more dust particles sitting on top And here are the two fans and all of everything in the back. Then you're going to take your laptop case, the back part anyways, of the plastic, and you're just going to pop it on on each little corner. So just pop it on very easily. Um, just kind of push down lightly on each corner and all around, and it should pop on pretty easily back on. Once you've done that, you're going to take your screws back. I usually start with the bottom ones, and you're just going to screw them very tightly and just get them snug. You don't have to make it so too tight, and just snug them in, and everything should make sure your laptop case is still, everything's good, and the corners are popped back into place. Very important, you make sure they're popped back into place. Sometimes, um, even if you've screwed them in, sometimes the uh, they won't pop back in, the plastic won't pop back in. Remember, the longer screws go on the top, and the tinier screws go on the bottom. Once you've done that and everything's back on, and you made sure everything's popped back on, you can just take the air duster and kind of blow out this cage real quick. What you're going to do is take uh, uh, any substance like this cleaner. Do make sure it's for laptops and stuff like that. And I usually just spray a tiny bit on the front and then wipe it off. It makes a, very, uh, a lot more clear look on it, and it just keeps it well and cleaned off. And do take any rag or anything like that soft and just give it a good wipe off. Once that's done, you can open your laptop. And I typically, this is a screen cleaner. So you can just take the screen cleaner just a little bit. Don't spray too much and just spray a little bit. And do wipe off your screen completely off. That'll keep your screen good and wiped off from smudges or anything like that.
once you've done that you can take the rag and just kind of wipe off all your keys and everything like that give it a good wipe down right here is the speaker um it is good to take the air duster too and just give it a good uh, just to, you know, air it out and everything, make sure there's no dust or anything, because dust can build up in there as well, as well as your keys too, kind of spray underneath your keys and everything like that, that'll make sure any kind of dust or anything build up in there will, you know, it'll get it out and everything like that. Uh, and do keep the laptop better to keep it into an open space instead of a dark space, or like a corner or underneath something, it can build up a lot more dust that way. And guys, this is the video, thanks for watching, again, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.